caring for your baby. No matter how it might look in the magazines, your baby is really very easy to please. As long as they're warm, fed, changed and cuddled, they'll be perfectly content. They don't need designer togs. So think about what really matters. Yes, you may be stuck at home more than you'd like to be, but actually there's often good news. Perhaps your partner is there more than he would be otherwise. And now is a great time to get to know your baby. Bonding with them is so important and feeding is a great time to bond. There's no need to bath your baby regularly in the first few days. You can top and tell them. Your midwife will have a chat with you about how to do that. You do need, of course, to change their nappies regularly and you need to work out what to do when they're crying. Babies' cries are very well designed to get us going. But actually there are all sorts of reasons for crying. Women who tell you that they know exactly what their baby's crying are, possibly imagining it. Babies can cry because they're hungry, because they're dirty or they're wet, because they're tired, or because they're overstimulated. They can cry because they want to cuddle. They can cry because they're windy. They can cry because they're hot, because they're cold, because they're bored, or because they have colic. But that's a matter for another video. But Check all of those things with your baby. Often just holding, stroking, rocking and singing for your baby will be enough to settle them down. If you're breastfeeding, quite often suckling will be good. But sometimes gentle noise or moving them, perhaps taking them for a walk or even just pushing them in their pram in a single room will be enough. Sleeping is another very vexed issue. Don't forget that to begin with, your baby may only sleep for a couple of hours at a time. They have small tummies, which means that they're going to feed, need feeding really regularly because they grow very, very fast. But it should only take a few weeks before they start to get into a routine and start to recognize the difference between day and night. Once that happens, there's lots that you can do. Your baby should be sleeping in the same room as you for the first six months, but at night, Keep the lights down low, keep your voice quiet, put the baby back to bed once you've changed them or fed them and don't play with them no matter how tempting. Once they're about three months old, you can maybe think about starting to have a routine which might include say a bath, a change, a bedtime story, dimming the lights, a lullaby or maybe having a wind up musical mobile. Every baby is different, but really they just want to be cared for. 